Last year our plant became part of a large production association in Fur, which produces medical drugs. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP for production, a unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions, and extracts in a fluidized bed machine, rotary tablet machines, an automatic line for packaging tablets in plastic film or foil, and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. Due to the increasing number of customer complaints about the poor quality packaging of cartons of drugs to eliminate cramps, at a meeting to improve production, it was decided to cellophane cartons of drugs in group packaging. This process consists of packaging pharmaceutical products with a transparent thin film to preserve the appearance of the package. I have been working at the company for more than 30 years, 15 of them as the chief engineer. I know all productions at the plant well. I was given the task to find equipment for cellophane packaging of a group of cardboard boxes of 10 pieces for the packing and transportation area. The equipment had to be modern and easy to operate, with a capacity of 200 boxes per hour. I have many friends in the field of production. So I first of all turned to them for advice, in search of equipment for packaging in cellophane of the group of cardboard boxes. I understood that the sphere of production of my colleagues differs from the sphere of our enterprise. However, they could recommend me good producers of equipment, which I could turn to for help in choosing of a machine. My colleagues recommended two manufacturers in Germany. I found their details on the internet and sent them an email asking them to match my requirements. Two days later I got a reply from one company saying that they had equipment for cellophane, packaging a group of cardboard boxes with specified technical parameters. However, they would only accept my order if I ordered at least two such machines from them, as it would not be profitable for them to make a one-time order. I figured I didn't need a second machine of that kind and refused. The other company replied that they do not work with CIS country. Based on the same advice of my colleagues, I did not contact the Chinese manufacturers directly. My acquaintances told me that equipment manufacturers from China often deliver incomplete equipment, citing inaccurate information about the required parameters of the machine. I could not take the risk, so I decided to choose a Russian-speaking intermediary for finding equipment for cellophane carton packaging. I needed a professional who had been working for a long time in the field of supplying pharmaceutical equipment and had positive feedback from customers. I began my search for a specialist on the internet. I chose three of the most presentable companies. As a criterion I looked at the time the company has been on the equipment supply market, the company's website, the terms of delivery of the machine. I called to all the companies by phone in order to be sure of the manager's professionalism. The specialist of one company said to wait for five minutes, but never listened to me. I didn't like this attitude to the customer. The manager of another company talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, terms of production. Five days later I received from them in the mail 10 variants of different machines for packaging in cellophane of a group of cardboard boxes and the offer to make your own choice. I realized that they did not have a professional approach and they would not help me in finding equipment for cellophane packaging. The last, third intermediary option turned out to be a good one for me. The mail manager talked to me like a professional. He asked specific questions about the performance of the machine, the size of the packaging. He suggested automatic equipment for cardboard cartons packaging in cellophane during the consultation stage, and I was able to quickly coordinate with the management of the company. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. The manager reported the degree of readiness of the machine two weeks in advance. I realized that I made the right choice of a specialist to supply the machine. In choosing any purchase, expert advice is essential. The project is sure to be successful if that advice was received from a professional.